Welcome to this video on how to create engineering drawings from your model in Fusion 360. First thing you need to do is to ensure that you have a template set up. We've got multiple templates. If you don't know how to do that, there is another video. Go watch that first. So open up your file, go to new drawing from design, choose the template you want, browse through your files, find the one you need, open that one up, push OK. First thing you should notice is that your title box has appeared as you expected. If you need to edit this, again go back watch the other video, it shows you how to edit a title box, but you can do that within this drawing. It should present you with the front of the object as you drew it in Fusion 360. If you don't want that to be the first view you place down, go to Orientation, choose the view you do want. So for example, that's the top. We want the front. If you want to change the style from an orthographic style with hidden lines, you can do that here. And the scale can be changed here. If you want to change any of the tangent edges, they're there. And if you want to show the thread edges or not, that's there. The threads can become a little bit blurry. They can sort of overlap if they're really small. So sometimes you want to turn those off. And we need to lay this down on the page where we want the first view. So remember, we're placing the front view here, and we want the right view here, and the plan view here. Unfortunately, as you'll see in a moment, this the default for Fusion 360 is first angle orthographic, not third angle. So what will happen is when I do this, where I right click and projected views, when I drag it down here, you see that this is actually the plan view, and that is the bottom view. So what we want to do is place the plan view, place the right view, press return, and then just pick them up and move them to where we really want them. I haven't yet got around to changing any defaults, so let me just do that. So this is our third angle orthographic view that we need for our engineering drawing. Let's separate out the components a little bit by clicking on the image and dragging that center over to the corner. And you'll see that Fusion automatically distances these to be proportionally the same as where we were. So now we need to put some dimensions on. Go over to the dimensions menu. If you want to change any of these icons on the toolbar, remember you just go to the tool, click on the option next to it and pin to toolbar, pin to shortcuts, or you can even create your own short, your keyboard shortcut. We want to add a linear dimension to the toolbar. So that I can one sec, let's remove that one. And there we go, there's my linear dimension. I can of course close this and that gives me more options along the top. So now what we're going to do is my linear dimension, and we just you can zoom in if it helps, but fusion will automatically snap to the features on your object. And you can just put in these linear dimensions. Now remember, you can also put in dimensions between edges. So here, set that up. And you don't actually need to put in dimensions on all of the faces if it's the same geometry just being represented in a different view. So for example, I don't need to put in the width here if I've already put in the width there. But you see, I don't really want to do that because it interacts with the title block. So if I push escape, go back to here, and I'll put it over this side instead. And again, you don't really need to put in the distance between these two if you've already put in the diameter of this, or the distance between there and there if you've already put in the diameter there. So if you want to put in the diameter, just go to that tool, click on the feature, put it in. Now you might find that you prefer to put in the radius because it just looks better for your drawing. And if you want to put in, say, the length of that section there, don't need it all. And it tells you what the distance is between there and there and so on. You can go from the center points as well. Now, if you wanted to put in a center line, you can do. You can go in for a center line between two points. So, for example, between there 
from there, and you can actually adjust that center line. If you go to move, oh, it's all gone wrong. Ah, there we go. So draw in your center line. I want my center line to go all the way through the object. So just need to move. Click on there, cancel that, and we should be able to just drag that up to go between the two points. Remember, you click once to start, once to stop. And there you go, you've got a center line. You could do a center line between these points here as well if you need to put them on. Now, if you've got an object, or so if you've got a drawing with multiple parts and you need to do some balloon referencing, that's over here under tables, so you can balloon reference the components, that will say number one. And then we can put a table in, and that table will then tell us that that is item one, quantity one, the name of the part, the material, and any description that we had for it. And that's pretty much everything you need to know. Most of this will conform to BS8888, but just be sure to check what standard you need to be working to before you finish. Once you're done, save the file, and when you want to produce a drawing via the printer, go to Output PDF. Save as a PDF, open that up in whichever program you use to print the PDFs, and go from there. Just remember that if you've produced an A3 template, you need to print it at A3, and don't change the printer settings to be anything other than exactly the size, you know, full size. Don't press print to or shrink to page or anything like that, and don't try and do an A4 drawing or A4 print of an A3 drawing.